So let's talk about physical and chemical changes and the differences between the two. So we know that all matter is made up of these things called atoms. And sometimes these atoms combine to form molecules. So I've got some example molecules here. That's a molecule. I've got a couple of other molecules here. Let's just refer to them by their colours. So this molecule has one black atom and four red atoms. This molecule has two blue atoms and same with this molecule. Now let's say these molecules form a substance and this substance is going to go through a change. Now in a physical change the molecules are just rearranged so that the appearance of the substance is different. So if we rearrange those molecules and have them like that, we haven't changed the molecules at all. The substance is just going to appear different, but it's not going to have any different properties. The properties will be exactly the same because it's still exactly the same substance. We still have one black atom, four red atoms, and four blue atoms. The molecules that they form are the same and so the substance is going to be exactly the same. It might look different, but it's made of the same molecules. But in a chemical change, new substances are made, which means the atoms have actually been rearranged. So let's pull these apart. And this is what happens in a chemical change. The atoms get rearranged and we form new substances. So let's go like that and like that. And so now we've actually formed some new molecules, which means we've formed new substances that are going to have totally different properties to the original substances and that is when we classify it as a chemical change. We've rearranged the atoms and formed a new substance with new properties. Now in a chemical change, we call the new substance that we form the product. And we form the original substance that we started with the reactant. So if we go back to the beginning again, we started with a reactant that look like that, and we formed a product that looked totally different. So that's a chemical change and the difference between a chemical change and a physical change. Hope this has helped. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.